YouTube. This is Mr. Star Wars Fan 66 back with another action figure review. Got just got back from a Target toy run, and they well they restocked, and I found a couple things. The first thing I found was heavy. Um, I know you guys are probably thinking, but you already got heavy, and yeah, I did. But I got this for like a great deal. It was like five dollars almost because I had some uh, discount. And then I picked up the two uh, Target exclusives: uh, Arf Trooper, uh, Waxer, and Battle Droid, and the Special Ops and Geonosian. So which one am I doing? Special Ops. All right, so. Just give me a minute to unbox this guy and we'll start. Okay, so he's been unboxed, or they have been unboxed, and let's just take a quick look at the package. Yes, very, very sweet kind of art right there. I love how they add to that kind of glare on his uh, visor. Uh, when you look at the back, you've got a pretty wide picture. And um, just a description, clone troopers battle Geonosian drones to stop the production of more battle droids. The special ops clone trooper is a highly skilled marksman. With his DC-15A blaster, he takes aim at the swarms of Geonosian drones that were attacking the Republic forces. So, yes, only at target, remember? And overall, this art, I think, is a really, really nice. On the back, it just has doesn't it just shows uh, the other two pack. So yeah, packaging is pretty nice. Always like the shadow of the dark side. So let's take a look at the figures. First, special ops. Man, this is probably one of my favorite exclusive figures out there. But just a quick look at him. He does have. Ankle ball joints, ball jointed knees, hinge uh, hip joints, and a kind of ball jointed waist there. Well, pretty much the regular for every clone right there. Really nice. Um, swivel wrists, ball jointed elbows, and ball jointed shoulders. One thing that I think they could have done better on is if you look right there, you see how the little hinge right there has to be painted black. I don't know why they do that. Um, to me, it just looks, doesn't look as well. I think they should put um, yellow on that space right there. But the head sculpt, that head sculpt is just amazing. It's completely new. They've just done an awesome job with it. The paint is amazing. They added the nice little triangles in there where they needed to be and overall just a great figure nice on the uh, emblems on the shoulders very very nice alright now for the Geonosian drone as you can see he's got um, ball jointed legs or ankles and a ball jointed knee that part not this part but that part and then a ball jointed uh, hip. He does have swivel uh, waist or abdomen and swivel wrists, ball jointed elbows and shoulders. Same thing with the head, ball jointed. What I was disappointed with on this one was that they didn't include the chest piece or the wings right there. I do not know why. Um, it really just doesn't make sense to me why they wouldn't do that. Because, how is it, I mean, that's a main part of the Gene Ocean with its wings. Maybe it was a mess up with Hasbro or something, but it actually includes the holes in its back. So, yes. And then it has the turret. Kind of ball, ball, hin ball joint there. So it can move freely wherever you want it to. It stands up very nicely and yes that is pretty much 
this guy. He can hold his gun fairly well. Um, when I took him out of the package, unlike most of my clone troopers, the gun didn't immediately fall out. So, I guess it's one thing to think about. And then, the, they come with battle game stands and cards. And their G-Notion score is Force Ability 4, Battle Skills 9, Intelligence 7, Mechanical Skill 10, Leadership 7, and Luck 18. The Special Ops has a 4 on Force Ability, a 12 on Battle Skills, a 10 on Intelligence, a 13 on Mechanical Skill, 8 on Leadership, and 14 on Luck. So that pretty much wraps up this review. It comes with the game guy. So stay posted for the review of Art Trooper Waxer and the Battle Droid. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and may the force be with you.